Even the FDA and experienced megacorporations have been known to get it wrong. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists found in 2018 that over the prior decade, 80,000 global deaths and nearly 2 million injuries were linked to faulty medical devices. Take FDA-approved vaginal mesh implanted in approximately 10 million women worldwide before the agency banned U.S. sales over risks including organ perforation, protrusion, and death. Its manufacturers, among others, Boston Scientific, Johnson & Johnson, Coloplast, and C.R. Bard. And healthcare giant Bayer was forced by the FDA to restrict sales of its permanent birth control device, Esher, after reported complications involving device migration and death. This widespread imprecision is evidence that as the next biotech billion is already being raised and spent, from startups to multinationals, there's much to be learned and improved. Elizabeth Holmes was made possible by a broader culture, and her downfall and the attention given to it is also a reflection of the broader culture. It's, you know, there are still our investors out there hunting down, you know, who's the next bright young person, man or woman, who's going to have the world-changing product.